4. Homemade Organic Pesticide Every Gardener Must Know Homemade organic pesticide, aphids, spider mites, and other pests can cause serious damage to flowers, fruits, and vegetables. These creatures attack your garden in swarms, literally draining the life from your crops and often inviting disease in the process. Many chemical pesticides can prove unsafe for the environment or may make fruits and vegetables unsafe for consumption, however. Thankfully, there are many homemade, organic options for you to turn to in your war against pests. Remedy 1 Using chilies and garlic, combine 1 half cup, 113 grams, of hot peppers with 1 half cup, 113 grams, of garlic cloves or onions. You may also use both onions and garlic. All the vegetables should be chopped prior to use. Blend the vegetables together in a blender to form a thick, chunky paste. Add the vegetable paste to half a liter of warm water mixing the ingredients together thoroughly. Pour the solution into a plastic or glass container and allow it to sit for 24 hours. If possible, keep it in a sunny location. If not, at least keep the mixture in a warm spot. Next, pour the solution through a strainer, removing the vegetables and collecting the vegetable infused water into another container. This water is your pesticide. Pour your pesticide into a squirt bottle and spray on the affected plants. Remedy 2 Using orange peels, peel an orange and place the peels into a glass container and pour 2 cups, 500 milliliters, of boiling water over the peels, allowing the solution to sit in a warm spot for 24 hours. Next, pour the solution into a strainer, removing the peels and saving the citrus infused water. Add a few drops of castile soap. Peppermint scented castile soap may prove especially effective. Mix the solution thoroughly to combine. Pour the pesticide into a large squirt bottle and spray the entire plant to ward off most soft-bodied pests. Remedy 3 Using Neem, combine 15 milliliters of neem oil with 1 half teaspoon mild soap. Many believe neem oil, which comes from a bitter tree leaf, to be one of the most effective natural pesticides in existence. Mix the neem and soap into 2 liters of warm water stirring slowly but thoroughly. Pour the pesticide into a spray bottle and spray on spots where you can clearly see pests or signs of pests. Remedy 4 Using Tobacco Mix 1 cup of tobacco into 2 liters of water. Sit the mixture out in the sun or in warm location, allowing it to rest for 24 hours. Check the color of the mixture. Ideally, the pesticide will look similar to the hue of a light tea. If it is too dark, dilute it with water. If it is too light to see, allow it to sit an additional few hours. Add 3 tablespoons of mild liquid dish soap to the solution and mix thoroughly. Pour the mixture into a large squirt bottle. Shake the solution inside the bottle once more to combine it further and spray on affected plants. Crush a banana and add these two ingredients. You will never cough again. Everyone wants to treat a cough as quickly as possible as they can get quite annoying. Illnesses that cause coughs are more common in the winter, which is why we need to protect our body in order to prevent bigger problems. Coughing may also be caused by smoking or can simply be a sign of the aging process. A cough occurs when the body is trying to clean the respiratory system and is a sign of problems within. In most cases, a cough is caused by the common cold, flu, or bronchitis. The problem is usually treated with over-the-counter medications such as cough syrup, but there is really no evidence that these drugs are effective. Luckily, natural remedies can treat coughs easily and are a far better option than conventional medications. Continue reading the article to learn how to prepare a homemade cough remedy that will provide relief in no time. Ingredients 400 ml of water, 2 ripe bananas, 2 tablespoons of organic honey, preparation. Boil the water in a pot, then peel the bananas and them in a bowl. Crush the bananas with a wooden spoon, then pour the boiling water over them and leave the mixture to cool down. In the end, add the honey and mix again. Consume 4 tablespoons of the remedy during the day. Warm up the mixture before consumption and it will easily relieve your cough. The remedy will also help you sleep better due to the high serotonin content of bananas.
A mixture of pineapple, aloe vera, oats, and ginger can remove your belly fat and strengthen your immune system. The ingredients in the remedy we have for you today possess great health benefits that can cure numerous diseases and conditions. This amazing smoothie can strengthen your immune system and help you reduce belly fat, which is why many weight loss experts are recommending it. This incredible smoothie is made from easily available ingredients that will treat and prevent different diseases and conditions while also slowing down the aging process. The smoothie contains essential nutrients required for the proper function of your body. The ingredients are beneficial on their own, but their effects are amplified when they are mixed together. The smoothie is a powerful nutrient bomb that will do wonders for your health. However, in order for it to work, you need to consume it in the proper way. The smoothie needs to be consumed fresh at the same time every day so you can get the most out of the ingredients. Consuming it regularly will reinforce your immune system, reduce your belly fat, improve the quality of your skin and your overall health. Here's how to prepare it. Ingredients, 2 pineapple slices, chopped, 2 tablespoons of integral oats, a small piece of ginger, or a tablespoon of powdered ginger, some aloe vera gel, a glass of water, Preparation. Bring the water to a boil, then add the ginger and simmer the mixture for a while on low heat. Next, leave it to cool down and strain it, then mix all the other ingredients in a blender. Drink the mixture fresh on an empty stomach in the morning or whenever you like, but make sure you drink it at the same time every day. The smoothie will regulate the function of your gut and colon, detoxify your body, boost your metabolism, reduce joint pain, improve your circulation, treat fatigue and anemia and strengthen your immune system. Try the delicious smoothie yourself and you will be amazed by the results. This amazing ancient recipe can cure diabetes, and pharmacies have spent millions of dollars to make IT disappear. Diabetes is difficult to treat, but you should know that there are many natural remedies against it. Many plants are powerful anti-diabetic agents, and most of them have been used to treat diabetes since ancient times. Of course, not all ancient treatments were safe arsenic and uranium were also given to diabetics, but their effect on the health of the patients was devastating. Luckily, these remedies were abandoned in favor of the anti-diabetic properties of beans. Diabetes is a serious health problem which occurs when the body can't produce or use insulin properly. The condition is usually treated with insulin shots which are taken every day in order to regulate the blood sugar levels. However, these shots have adverse side effects as well, including weight gain, swelling and liver disease. They also haven't shown any great potential in treating the disease. Many experts suggest that lifestyle changes are the most effective thing against diabetes. In order to treat the disease, you should eat more legumes and cereal. They can reduce the insulin resistance in your body, which is the main cause of type 2 diabetes. The European Association for the Study of Diabetes, the Canadian Association of Diabetes and the American Diabetes Association all recommend legumes as a natural way of controlling your blood sugar levels. According to an analysis of 41 studies in Canada which included more than 1,000 patients, legumes are indeed one of the best diabetes remedies which can keep your blood sugar stable. However, some of the pulses, the legumes grain seed, were more effective than others. Chickpeas gave the best results, while black beans and pistos gave better results than plain beans. Compared to the blood sugar peak caused by white rice, black and pinto beans combined with rice reduced the spike quickly. Red and dark beans were not so effective as they have low levels of digestive starch. Beans are effective against diabetes as they contain compounds which block the starch enzymatic digestion in the body, allowing starches to go to the colon and feed the beneficial bacteria in the bowels. The inhibition of the amylase enzyme is similar to what the popular diabetes drug Precos does. Regular consumption of beans can also normalize your hemoglobin A1c levels almost as well as any other drug, which makes the ingredient a great natural remedy against diabetes. How one woman cured her fibromyalgia without drugs, and now moves pain-free. 
Chronic diseases are on the rise with each passing year from asthma and migraines to ALS and cystic fibrosis. More and more people are affected by illnesses that can seriously harm your quality of life. Fibromyalgia is also a chronic condition which affects millions of people every year. What is fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is a chronic disease which causes pain all over the body. It usually comes accompanied by fatigue, insomnia, foggy memory, mood changes as well as tension headaches, IBS, anxiety, and depression. The disease is caused by physical trauma, infections, surgery, and stress. It often comes without notice, and is sometimes caused by more than one problem. About one in every 50 people will suffer from the disease in their lifetime. It's the second most common disorder that affects the skeletal muscular system after osteoarthritis. Women are more exposed to the risk than men about 80 to 90 percent of all cases are female. Fibromyalgia can run in the family as well. 50 percent of all fibromyalgia patients can't perform their daily activities, and 30 to 40 percent need to change jobs or stop working. The average fibromyalgia patient is hospitalized once in three years. What can you do? As there's no cure yet, people are left wondering what to do. Luckily, this blog post from Barbara Sinclair presents some holistic methods that helped her get rid of the disease. Barbara lived with the disease for seven years after developing it at 48. She was unable to move freely and it started interfering with her daily activities. It all started with a simple fever, but for the next seven years, Barbara lived with so much pain that even a breeze caused her agony. She tried conventional medicine, but it didn't help. She then tried to treat the problem with Ayurveda medicine. She started with physical therapy first, light massage, chiropractic measures, and acupuncture. Her chiropractor suggested she swapped Ambien for St. John's Word tea, and it worked. It took a couple of weeks, but all of a sudden I miraculously started sleeping. I also noticed a significant decrease in my pain, especially at night. And I had a brighter outlook on life, Barbara says. Ayurveda came later as a recommendation from a colleague. It took her months in order to find the right doctor, and Barbara committed herself to Ayurveda fully. She made slow progress, and when frustrated, her doctor told her, it takes the body a long time to get like this, out of balance and it can take an equal amount of time to come back into balance. It took years of digging through her past, but Barbara eventually found the root of the problem a mountain of emotional stress which she repressed. Before she got better, Barbara hit a snag when she distanced herself from Ayurveda when her doctor left town. However, a friend set her on the right path again, recommending a Tibetan Buddhist doctor named Yashit Handan. Barbara went to his office with a translator, but even before he could open his mouth, Yashi said, she has pain all throughout her body. It is worse in the heat of the summer and the cold of winter. She has numbness in her limbs and cannot sleep. He told her everything that's wrong in her body and gave her a list of foods to avoid. He even gave her a personalized set of herbs that she could get every month for a small sum of money sent to his clinic in India. For several months, I faithfully followed Dr. Dhondon's recommendations and slowly but surely my symptoms disappeared, one by one, never to return. The end was not nearly as dramatic as the beginning, Barbara says of her journey. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.